What's up guys, the name is Ryan Dragnell and welcome back to Magical Otoge and Holy. I don't know if I'm still pronouncing that right, but anyways, last where we left off, we met her Aunt Holy. Still don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. And we met her friend, uh, I forgot his name, damn. <laughs> it's been a while since I came back to this game, but uh, we met her friend, I forgot what his name, I know it starts with an R, I believe, but they met each other, they seem to be best friends. She lives alone in this snowy town. Uh, I think because her of her powers drove everyone out of this town, pretty much. Yeah. Anyways, let's continue. Oh man, it's so cold out here. It's still snowing, huh? Hmm. I wonder. And just then... Oh, hi, stranger! You see a man walking by. He looks like he's in pain. Huh? Who's that? Is he okay? Well, if he's walking in pain, of course he's not okay. He looks like he might collapse at any... Yeah. He, he did. Whoa! You caught the man before he fell. Are you, uh... Okay? Yeah, I almost collapsed. Sure, I'm okay. Obviously not, but <laughs> at least she's obvious. I'm fine. Let go of me. Oh really? Okay. Oh well. Um, okay. Well, that's nice. That's nice. That's totally nice. Anyway. Dots. Dots make everything comfortable. Not. This is awkward. Very, very awkward. Just another Friday night. The man starts walking away from you. What? Are you serious? He seemed to be forcing himself though. Is he really okay? Ugh. You rush over to catch the man again. Yeah, he's definitely not okay. Um, do you need something? Really, but you need some medical attention. I'm fine. No, you aren't. Yes, I am. Could you stop arguing and let the lady help you? No, you. I am. Wow, so rude. She's trying to give you help, you know. The man takes a step. You had to catch him again. Jesus, you need to stop falling and let her help you! Still more dots, okay. See? What do you mean, see? Who are you trying to convince? I... Ah, <sighs> uh, oh no. Well, he passed out. That, that's fucking great. We have a man in our arms and he's passed out. Or, uh, hopefully only passed out. Hopefully. Please. Now, I should... Leave him here. That's so fucking nice of you. Um, carry the man back to your house. Leave him. Obviously, we are going to carry him back to the house. Well, for now, I'll bring him back to my house and hope he wakes up. You let the man your shoulder and head back to your house. After getting back to your house, you place the man on your couch. A traveler, I guess? Maybe he got lost. It shouldn't be cold enough for it to be dangerous, but still. Hmm. You touch the man's forehead. Whoa, he's freezing cold. W what should I do? He's not dead, is he? He's even colder than I am. You quickly check the man's clothes and his heartbeat. Please don't have hypothermia. Hmm. His heart sounds fine, even though he's this cold. Luckily, none of his clothes are wet, too. Phew. Maybe he wasn't lying when he insisted that he's fine? Huh. But really, what a relief. Well, for now, I'll turn the heater on. Since he's cold, it'll help. And if he dies... It'll help him decompose. Oh god, why would you 
think that unholy. What the hell is wrong with you? Jeez. But let's not think about that. Yeah, please don't. And just as the room got warmer from the heater, he woke up. Ugh. Oh, you're awake. Are you trying to kill me? Um, no? Huh? Ugh. The man stood up and walked out of the house. Wow! He just got up and walked out. And she's like, um, the fuck? Oh, uh, wait! You fall on the man outside. Wait, are you really okay? Your skin was so cold, I... Oh, uh, I meant holy, and you're... Seho. I'm pronouncing it as Seho. There's no need to worry about me. I'm an ice spirit. Oh, really? Yes, I can handle the cold without a problem. There's no need for concern in that respect. So that was why he's so cold. What, what a relief. Wait, is there another problem with him? Probably. Why did he faint in the first place? On the other hand, rather than worrying about how cold I am, you should be concerned about yourself. You are completely human, aren't you? Oh, well, I am. Hmm. I don't know much about humans, but the temperature of your hand wasn't normal. Ah, he must have noticed when I checked his forehead earlier. Well, you're right, but it's... Hmm. Seeing how things are in this town, it's quite obvious. However, either way, this is none of my business. Oh, I didn't mean to be rude or anything. But I guess he's figured it out already, so... I should that he m it might be bad for my friend who's been helping me if people found out, so... I see. And it wouldn't be bad for you? Oh, well, it probably would, but my friend doesn't get anything from helping me, even though it's an inconvenience to him. I'm more worried about him, honestly. I don't really care about what happens to me. You really love dots, don't you? You're a strange person. <laughs> huh? Where did that come from? Oh, but more importantly, why did you collapse earlier? You... I'm fine. Really now? With how much you're insisting on that, it's getting kind of suspicious. Yeah, it is. It really is. Just kind of... And just then, the sudden snow was over. Oh, yay! Oh, it stopped snowing. I'm always cold, so I don't want it to be any colder. But the snow was kind of nice. I wonder if it'll snow again. You mean to say that you didn't make it snow on purpose? Huh? No, I didn't. Hmm. I see. So that's how things are. There's no need to worry. I wouldn't reveal your secret. Oh, thanks. It was pretty obvious, huh? Of course. The snow gives off the same sense that you do, after all. The snow? I guess my powers made it snow after all. But, in that case, I suppose only an ice spirit like me or someone highly skilled in magic would notice the similarity, though. This town is rather secluded, so I doubt you'll have problems with that, at least. Yeah, hopefully. But you appeared, didn't you? How did an ice spirit like you even get all the way to so... Solvalis. The area around here is pretty warm. Why do you want to know? Because I want to know. Don't be an ass. Why? I don't really have a reason, I guess. I'm just curious if that's a good enough reason. Oh, wait. I keep on getting sidetracked, though. Seriously, are you really alright? Why did you collapse earlier? If there's anything I can do to help... Hmm. I suppose. It wouldn't hurt to tell you. W wow, really? Simply put, I'm dying. 
that that's 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 a nice way to put things that's that's really nice Wh what you're i'm fine oh my god please stop saying that even she's not taking it how can you even well feel free to continue with your story i will there isn't much to say however some time ago I lost my way from my original home due to a sudden expansive blizzard. And so I've been finding and resting in snowy areas like this one for some time now. But I'm not quite built to stay out of suitable environments for a long time. Hence my weakened state. Oh, I see. So now you're trying to find your way back home? No, not particularly. While I was lost, I preferred not to not spend too much time in a place with humans, so I continued to travel aimlessly. Once the weather warms up again in this town, that will surely be the end of me. Oh, but it's fine. I'm only waiting to die now. I've already accepted my fate. No! What? But how can you just accept it like that? Hmm. How indeed. Hmm. Well, I could always try to help bring you back to your home. Yeah, we could do that. And he's like, what? I doubt it would be feasible. I don't even know where I'm originally from. Oh, really? That's a problem. But still, we should try anyway. I love how she's really optimistic about this. And he's just like, what? You're crazy. You're really crazy. You must not have much to do. Oh, uh, yeah, that's one way of saying it, I guess. What was your home like, anyway? Cold. You don't say! <laughs> Doesn't seem like Sehome felt much about his home, huh? Well, in that case, not that I own this town or anything, but you can stay here as long as you like. The only person in this town is me with some very occasional travelers, so... Uh, oh! But I guess if you don't like me, you won't want to stay around. And I guess it'd be pretty hard to suddenly trust me, right? Or... And he's like, what? A rather awkward person, isn't she? So... Even I can tell how much she's trying to help. That means you're gonna stay? Huh? Why isn't he saying anything? I should say so. Wow! <laughs> How I should say something. You're adequate. Okay, that's that's okay. That's a good start. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. No, not at all. Was that a compliment, or I think he's trying to compliment you? Perhaps this was a poor, that was a poor attempt on my part. Yes, dear, it was. But don't worry, you're trying, and that counts. That's all that counts, right? You're trying. Hmm, well. Allow me to say something else that may help make sense of things. Spirits are generally more attuned to the feelings and intentions of others. So what I meant to say is, I could already feel your sincerity. R really? Oh, wow. And that is strange for a human. Oh, right, since humans are usually scumbags, huh? Certainly. But even so, I don't mind trusting my instincts right now. There isn't much for me to lose. Oh, I see. So, uh, does that mean you'll stick around for now? Yes, I suppose it does. Hoorah! Really? Great then! I don't know how, but... Maybe I can help make his outlook on life a little more positive. Or at least make his dying moments a little more cheerful. Aw, oh, so optimistic and trying. But let's not think about that. By the way, are you hungry or anything? Wait, but you're a spirit, so... No, I'm fine. Truly. Most spirits, including me, live using the magic energy found in nature. I'm still capable of eating human food, however. Oh, I see! I'm always free to share if you, anything interests you. And all of this stuff about ice spirits and snow is reminding me of when I was a little kid and ate shaved ice. Oh, God. <laughs> and he's like, what? Uh, oh, ice. Is that... Uh, 
Every snowflake you eat is another screaming brethren of mine who never had a chance. Oh my god. Oops. Eek! I didn't know it was so bad. So they have feelings. Does everything in nature have feelings? That might be a problem. Can you talk to snowflakes or... Huh. Oh my god, he's smiling! H huh? I'm joking. I don't care about snowflakes. I've stepped on millions of them in my lifetime. Wow, I suddenly feel really bad for both me and the snowflakes. <laughs> it certainly would be unfortunate if they did end up having feelings. <laughs> Just like me. Okay, whoa. Pardon? Oh, well. Uh, just a joke about being stolen cold-hearted. Never mind, it doesn't suit me. Hm, I didn't think so either. Yeah, but anyway, I guess the two of us are going to be in Solvis's only residence, huh? You're welcome in my house if you're ever tired of staying outside. No, thank you. I'd prefer to spend as little time as possible in that heat death trap. <laughs> oh, okay. It's that bad, huh? In that case, I'll just have to go out here to talk to you. No problem. Huh? To talk to me? Oh, uh, yeah. You're going to learn really fast that there isn't a lot to do around here. So, let's get along. If you want to, no pressure. Hmm. Yes, I'd be fine with that. Yay! We have company. And so, and Holy's new daily life with Seho, the spicy ice spirit, began. One day, soon after their first meeting... Okay, we're gonna actually stop here for today because I'm running out of time. And we'll continue more of this in the next video. I'm actually liking it so far. It's really nice. Made friends with an ice spirit, somewhat, who's dying. And I hope he doesn't die because if he dies, I swear. Okay. Okay, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys would like to see more of my videos, then click subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!